In this video, we will continue our previous lesson about gas. At the end of this lesson, students should be able to sketch and interpret the graph of Boyce Law and Charles Law. And students should be able to define Dalton's Law. Boyce Law in the previous video, we already discussed about Boyce Law. Are you still remember about Boyce Law? Okay, so Boyce Law state that pressure is inversely proportional to its volume and amount and temperature are fixed or constant. Boyce law can be presented by following graph which is first graph is graph pressure versus volume the graph is hyperbola from this graph we can see that pressure is inversely proportional to volume means that when pressure increase, volume decrease. Second graph is graph of pressure versus 1 over volume. And the graph is straight line passing through the origin. Means that Pressure is directly proportional to 1 over V. So, means that pressure increase 1 over V also increase. And the third graph is graph of PV versus pressure. And the graph is straight line which runs parallel to the x-axis. Means that PV is equals constant. PV does not depend on the pressure. Charles Law Charles Law state that Volume of gas is directly proportional to absolute temperature and amount and pressure are fixed or constant. Charles law can be presented by following graph which is first graph is Graph of volume versus temperature in unit Kelvin. And second graph is graph of volume versus temperature in unit degree Celsius. When you plot graph of volume versus temperature in unit Kelvin. So, you will get graph straight line passing through the origin. And when you plot graph of volume versus temperature in unit degree Celsius, you also get straight line graph. But on the extrapolation, the graph meet the temperature at negative 273 degree Celsius. This temperature is called absolute zero and is adopted as zero in the Kelvin scale. So you can see the difference between the graph volume versus temperature in unit Kelvin which is passed through the origin starting from zero but when you plot graph of volume versus temperature in degree Celsius the temperature meets at negative 273 degree Celsius. From this graph, 
we can see that volume of gas is directly proportional to absolute temperature and volume is proportional to the temperature. Dalton's law of partial pressure. Dalton's law state that in a mixture of unreacting gases, the total pressure is the sum of the partial pressure of the individual gases. So, P total is equal to P1 plus P2 plus P3 and so on. Depend on how many gases present in the container. So, for example, let's say in the container, we have nitrogen gas, helium gas and argon gas. So, P total of the system is equal to pressure exerted by nitrogen plus pressure exerted by helium plus Pressure exerted by argon. Partial pressure. Partial pressure is a pressure of individual gas component in the gas mixture. So, for example, we have the first container and in this container, we have gas A. And pressure exerted by gas A Label as P A. And the second container, we have gas B and pressure exerted by gas B is equal to P B. And when we combine the gas in the same container, so P total of the system is equal to P A plus P B. But, you must remember that this law is applied to a mixture of gases occupied in the container with same volume. Same volume and same temperature in which they do not interact with each other.